I know you're alone. I know you're fearful. I know sometimes you lack the courage. I know that maybe you're not where you want to be. I know that maybe your sense of self-worth has been um, dictated by your parents and your environment and you don't have a high self-worth. I know that um, you need somebody's company to feel um, assured of yourself. You, you, you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. Okay? It's scary out there. It appears scary. But here's, here's what you should know. When you open your eyes, the world appears before you. This indicates that you are the creator of the world. The creator of your world. If you are not um, alive, the world wouldn't exist. Simply wouldn't exist. You wouldn't be aware of the existence of the world for others as well. So in natural actual fact, you create your own world. Having said that, you have been preconditioned karmically from past lives and also this life from your parents, from your childhood. So the way you are right now is a reflection of the karma from the past life and also a reflection of your environment, your childhood environment. A lot of you may have gone through trauma and you say to yourself, why me? Why, why was I so unlucky? Well, it's karmic and it was created by you in a past life before you even came here. And everything is done for your own well-being, it's done for your good. Having said that, if you are subjected to lack of confidence, you're not sure of yourself, you need someone's approval, you need to be around somebody, you need a man or woman to take care of you, or you need to have a loved one around you to feel secure in the world, you are severely mistaken because everybody comes here alone and leaves alone. You don't need anybody to feel strong in your own self. So let's try and dissolve all their concepts of who you are and what you are and let's replace it with better ones so that you can succeed. And if you do this, I guarantee you, you do this for 21 days, um, you're gonna see that your life transforms completely. Okay, so the first step is understand you're not the body and not the mind. What do I mean you're not the body and you're not the mind? I mean, think about this way. When you sleep and you go to bed and you dream, where's your present body and mind? It doesn't exist, right? I'm saying as far as ex experience is concerned, your body and mind don't exist. And then when you finish the dream and you come back to your body and mind, you, you cannot re replicate the dream again, okay? So your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts create your dreams. Your thoughts create who you are right now. Having said, said that, you have control over it, okay? You can control the dream. You can control your reality here. But simply understand that the thoughts and the body are not yours, meaning that um, because of you, the thoughts and the, and the body are present, but without you, without your consciousness or awareness, your body and, and mind would not be present, okay? That's very, very simple thing to understand. And it's important because if you understand this, now you, you, you understand that you are quite separate from the body and mind. Therefore, you're not stuck with the body and mind. Okay, you're stuck with the physical body, yes, but what I mean by that, I mean, you're not s stuck with the present circumstances that you surround yourself with or around. So if we every day meditate and say to ourselves, I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, and understand it, just like as you would go to school and you would understand the concept that I'm not the body and mind, um, you keep on repeating to yourself and repeat to yourself and make it a reality. And, and when you do this, your mind is going to become weaker and weaker. The grasp, the grasp that your mind has on you presently with your conditions and your concepts and your fears, they, they no longer hold power over you. Now you can break free from it. Now you're free. So now let's replace um, the fearful um, um, doubts and the fears and the doubts with something that's empowering and to give us what, what we want. The word I am is a statement of divinity. When you say I am in its, in, by itself, I am is awareness. This is yourself, with your ego self or your highest self as far as the mind is concerned um, without the body and mind attached to it. That's I am. So when you repeat I am, I am and meditate and ask I am or who am I um, and don't accept any answer but keep on saying I am or I or I am, you're going to see that the, the, body, the, the thoughts and the body, uh, the attachment to the body and thoughts will also break down and you become freer and freer. Now, with the statement I am, you can attach anything you want to it and, and, accept, and make it a reality. You can say I'm rich. You can say I'm healthy. You can say I'm self-confident. You can say um, I, I get beautiful relationships. You can say if you have a problem with your relationships or you're fearful, you can say I'm courageous. If you, you think that you always need a man or woman around you, you can say, I'm content within myself. Um, I feel fulfilled by myself. These are all self-empowering words you can use, but you gotta repeat them on a daily basis. Just be, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you make a list of all the concepts you want to instill in yourself. It should always be in the present tense. I am this, and always positive. Never use a negative. In other words, if you are overweight, don't say, I am not overweight. If you say, I am of the perfect weight. Okay, very important. Now you're going to place 
now you're going to replace and or say these affirmations um, daily. The first thing you wake up in the morning, you're going to repeat these affirmations. You get to the point you can repeat it over and over to yourself and it becomes effortless. This point, you know, is going into your subconscious. Whenever you hear, you, let's say you said to yourself, I'm rich, and whenever you saw, hear the statement or said the statement and it rang true, you accepted it, you, then you are rich. You will become rich. Things will come your way. You do not need to figure out how or why, um, and it will make you rich. But you just need the faith. You need to say, I'm rich and accept it. And the more you say it every day, the more it becomes natural and true. You know, look around you. You believe certain, certain things because you hear your parents saying to you, for instance, a lot of people have very poor money beliefs. They hold on to money because they feel that money is not abundant. And therefore, it becomes true. Money is not abundant for them. But if you believe money is abundant and it's always around you, and, it, and there's no limit to it, and you're always going to have the money you need. Okay, simple, pay attention, very, very powerful. So this exercise is you're going to meditate on I am, or the sim simple the word I, and meditate, close your eyes, meditate on I am, and ask who am I, and do not accept any answer, because any answer the mind gives you is incorrect. What you're looking to do is to um, detach from your concept of I am this, I am that, to just I am. Now, you're going to take that I amness, at the same time you repeat the I am, once you're done saying that I am, you're going to take a session of time, like 10, 20 minutes, and repeat your affirmations, preferably first in the morning and just before you fall asleep. You do this for 21 days. I am rich. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am whatever you want to be. 21 days. Change yourself completely. Figure out what you want in a relationship and say, I am this. Always relationships. Remember that if you are loveless, you cannot attract love. So always say words that make you sufficient and loved. Number two, you want money abundance say i'm wealthy i'm abundant i get things easily i attract wealth wealth is effortless okay um if you want um, a good body health i'm healthy i have the perfect body um you you it's limitless what you can think of basically anything your mind will accept you can say it it, it will happen okay the limit is only what your mind agrees or not agrees upon that's why you use the i amness to break it down and dissolve the mind the, the grasp of the mind on you so 21 days write like remember write what you want for a few set of words for wealth health relationships for, um, anything you want in your life to improve uh, a job or a career or whatever write it down and say those first thing in the morning first thing at night okay if preferably make an affirmation tape make a tape say those words and with a clear voice your voice and put it onto a tape put it onto youtube and listen to it every day morning and night you do it often 21 days 21 days becomes a part of you okay but don't take my word for it please try 21 days i'm telling you in 21 days if you choose the right belief sets um, your life will transform beyond your imagination because your words create reality your thoughts create reality okay so those of you who are struggling right now what have you got to lose right now what you're doing right now is failing you so why not try something new 21 days i'm gonna cost you anything you're saying positive things to yourself so the worst case scenario you're going to feel better about yourself so you got nothing to lose but i can guarantee you in 21 days you say all those things despite where you are in your life right now and don't worry about the how or the why it's not your, it's not your business that's doubt the the your reality your thoughts will create and will bring the right people in all right circumstances to provide what you ask for the word akar kadabra you know what it means it says my words my words are magic basically my words are my will so your will, I am, is a statement of your will. I am this, I am that. It's a divine statement. Call upon it. Call upon it for 21 days. You got nothing to lose. You owe it to yourself, morning, night, and afternoon. The more you do it, the better. You will see that when you hear those words eventually, the words become true. Now, the I am meditation is very important if you have a doubtful mind. So do not bypass that part. Because you got to dissolve and weaken the mind for the mind to accept the words you say as, as the words you want to be true, then to accept it. But practice is perfect. If your mind is really, really strong, do the I am meditation every day. Even once you're working, keep on saying I am, I am, I am, I am. Or just I, I, I. Eventually, the mind will say, who am I? What's I? And remember, no answer is correct. The answer is that what you are, the mind cannot express it. So that's not for you to objectify it or say it. It will come and show itself to you without words. So I am always. And then take 10, 15 minutes and state what you want. I am rich. I am wealthy. I attract abundance. Always to the positive. Always like it's happened already to the it's already happened never say i want is i i have I, I am or you know i have already i'm rich already you know i'm rich i had i'm wealthy i'm healthy that sort of thing